focus on your breath, watch it coming in, watch it go out. And keep an eye on your mind as well to make sure it stays with the breath. If it wanders off, you bring it back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. Try to be firm with it. Not too firm, but firm enough to get it to the breath. Because the mind needs training. Without training, the mind can create a lot of trouble. With training, it can do a lot of good. And the happiness we experience, if your mind is not trained, even though you gain good things outside, you can still be miserable. When the mind is trained, then even if things outside are difficult, you can still be happy. You have a sense of well-being inside. So it's really important that we train the mind, because our mind has a lot of capabilities. You may have noticed we do a lot of bowing around here, especially we bow a lot to the Buddha, because he teaches us to respect, one, our desire for true happiness, and two, our ability to attain that happiness. The rest of the world tells us, oh, true happiness, that's not possible. Buy our stuff and at least have a little bit hit of pleasure. And so people are running around, running around, trying to get what they can so they can get those little hits of pleasure, and then when they run out, they've got to run around some more. But the Buddha says, no, that, there's something better than that in life. And you have the ability to train your mind so you can attain it. So you want to respect those things, that your desire for true happiness, your desire to train yourself, your confidence in your ability to train yourself. And because the, the world outside demands our respect in so many ways, it's good to remind us of what we really ins respect deep down inside. So as you're training the mind, you're showing respect for yourself, your ability to get the mind in good shape. So it becomes your ally in the search for true happiness and not your enemy. So keep coming back, coming back to the breath. There's a lot more to the meditation than just coming to the breath, but that's the foundation. You've got to keep building as solid as you can. Once that foundation is solid, again, then a lot more things you can learn about the mind, a lot more ways and subtle ways you can train it. But by coming back to the breath and staying with the breath, making sure the breath stays comfortable, you've got a good place for the mind to stay. You're nourishing the mind. And you're developing a lot of the good qualities you're going to need for whatever other skills you need to develop in the course of your search for true happiness. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, your ability to see things clearly, especially to see what you're doing and the results of what you're doing. And then ardency, your desire to do it well. Have respect for that principle, because it takes effort. But remember, when you're respecting that, you're also respecting your potential for true happiness. And that is something that's worth bowing down to. <laughs>